Welcome back everybody. Got a great video for you. A very challenging project for me today. I gotta glue this to this. Now there's a lot of people out there with a lot of different ideas on how I should do this. And I'm gonna go over a few of the common ones. I'm gonna talk about this little gadget right here and why this won't work. We're also gonna talk the tape deal. How that doesn't work with this type of situation. Maybe for building a birdhouse it does. I know some people like to think that it works all the time when they watch the YouTube videos. Lay the tape down put these boards down flat on the tape and then you fold it up and it's supposed to have the strength of a hundred men to flex your joint together that's what I need right there Whoo! that's tight the tape won't do that right here we have about a 30 second and I need to close that somehow I can easily squeeze it just like that it's tight this little gadget right here very useful for trim work I use it a lot for tiny pieces of trim that I gotta glue together crown molding I've used it on making mantles a lot but again on this you don't got no 90 degree angle you try to if you try to take these pointy ends and jam it into there what you're gonna do is just rip through that top veneer of the plywood it also won't work on pre-finished plywood at this angle you need at least a 90 degree angle maybe you could get away with it if you're doing paint grade you can really jam them in there and they'll bite in and then you just sand it off and fill it and paint it and all that. So the idea is I'm going to drill into this one and I'm going to drill into this one. Keep in mind this surface won't ever see the light of day. Probably get a veneer. Then I'm going to put these in and then I'm going to get my squeeze clamp on it. I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom. I'm only going to glue up one side at a time. I will be using the table saw surface because it is the flattest surface outside of a slab of granite. So right about there, you can see that black line right there. That's maybe even less than a 32nd of an inch. But I got to close that up. It's tight here. It's tight there. Not tight there. Oh. Today's video is sponsored by EcoFlow. Well, this is one of their products right here. This is the EcoFlow Delta. So EcoFlow makes portable solar panels. They make portable solar generators. Basically, it's a battery, a power inverter, a charge controller, all in a box. They have a lot of different sizes. This specific one, the EcoFlow Delta, is the one that I keep in my truck all the time. Whenever I'm out camping, it's charging my electric bikes. It's powering my air compressor. I have solar panels permanently mounted to the roof of my truck. Keeps the EcoFlow Delta always charged. It'll charge phones, laptops, tablets, anything you can imagine. Right now is their prime day sale. These things are marked down as low as they have ever been. They're up to 48% off. So if you have a need for something like this, you go camping a lot, you got an RV, you need some power, check out EcoFlow. Take advantage of the prime day sale. The links will be in the description. This is my clamp setup. Squeeze clamp on the quarter 20 bolts that are my little pegs, top and bottom, and then clamped right to here. It has far exceeded my expectations. The only thing is, is now can I pull this all apart, get glue on it, and get it all clamped back up just like this before the glue sets. tight it's super tight a little bit of the glue picked up some of the dark of the the blue rag but it's tight and that dark line there that is not a gap that is the dang blue rag but that'll get sanded out i put in a little extra glue 
as you can tell I was kind of frantically cleaning up the glue but you can see we are tight on both the front side and the back side pretty excited about that it actually worked I came up with this idea just uh, doing my test clamp up to see what was going to work and it worked real good I don't didn't have to squeeze these very hard to close that little gap up there just enough tension to hold these things in place and then a little half squeeze is all it took to take up that little bit of space so this is just a mock-up clamp job I had to get pretty creative with it But it is tight as I can get it. It's real tight. Now I got to take it all apart and put it all back together just like this. Okay, well, this second side was much more difficult to get clamped up and tight. This little middle spot was the toughest. I mean, the top or the bottom section and this section were all good, except for right here. Not sure what the deal is, but it's tight now. So I'm going to leave this glued up, clamped up. So normally I have everything running off this remote control. I hit one button, router turns on. Hit another button, vacuum cleaner turns on, and I can turn them all off with this. Battery's dead, so I'm gonna be running around flipping switches. This is a test piece. Not too bad. Gonna run with it.
hate when I forget to hit record, but I just assembled and glued this door here. Was on a roll there for a while, no mistakes, till now. I built this door for one and a quarter inch overlay. And I grabbed what I had in my little stash. This is not one and a quarter inch overlay. This is a three quarter inch overlay. It's not centered here, not centered. I need a whole nother inch to get centered up here. Um, but that's what it's gonna look like, Be like that except it'll be centered on this door or on this cabinet once I get the right size hinges. But uh, so what do you think? Should I paint it? Should I stain it? <laughs> what color should I stain it? What color do you think it's gonna get stained? That'll be the next video, finishing this bad boy. It's gonna be something I've never done before. I'm gonna be custom mixing my own stain to try to get a vision, a vision of color. It's late. Hey Google, what time is it? You deaf? Hey Google, what time is it? It's 9.08 p.m. Oh, it's actually not that late. Of course, gotta edit a video. Gotta have that video sent off by 1 a.m. I think it looks pretty darn good. Thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.